Hello friends, today we are going to learn the algorithm for bubble sort. So let's see an example. So this is the array and these are the indices of the array. There are 8 elements in this array and we will apply bubble sort algorithm on this array to sort this array in an increasing order. So before starting for the algorithm, just read the note here. Every position i will be compared with a position i plus 1. So this means in every pass of the algorithm, every position will be compared with its next position. So let's see how to do this. Here, see, this is the position i and the position i plus 1. So now, if the element at position i is greater than element at position i plus 1, then we have to swap. That is what you can find out here. Here we have written, if a of i is greater than a of i plus 1, then we have to swap. So let's go ahead. So here, yes, 6 is greater than 5. So we have to swap. So I will swap 5 and here it will come 6. Now I will be incremented. At first I was here. Now I will increment and go at position 1. So if I is 1, then I plus 1 will be 2. So i plus 1 is this position. So now let us compare 6 with 3. Yes, 6 is greater than 3. So we have to swap. So we will swap. Come 6. So let's increment i. So i was 1. So now i will go to second position. You can see in this code here, i is being incremented every time for every pass. So now i is 2, so i plus 1 is 3. 6 is greater than 1, yes. So we will swap. 1 is here, 6 is here. Now let us increment i. So 6 is greater than 8. No. So, we don't swap and we directly increment i. Yes. 8 is greater than 7. Yes. So, we have to swap. Increment i. 8 is greater than 2. Yes. So, we have to swap. Increment i. 8 is greater than 4. Yes. So we have to swap. And we don't increment i from here because if i comes at 7th position, then there is no i plus 1. i plus 1 is not present there as the array ends. So we increment i only up to n minus 1 that is 6. Uh, here n is 8. So if we go up to 7 that means I will be uh, I will go up to 6. So let us go to the next pass pass 2. So in this pass we I will tell you the shortcut. So you just have to go on comparing every position with every next position. So let's compare 5 with 3. Yes, 5 is greater than 3. Let's swap. Compare 5 with 1. Uh, remember, I am comparing the positions here. So 5 with 1. Yes, 5 is greater than 1. So 1 will come here and 5 will go here. Now compare 
this position with this position that is 5 with 6 so no there is no need of swapping because 5 is not greater than 6 so compare 6 with 7 yeah no there is no need of swapping compare 7 with 2 yes there is need of swapping 2 will come in 7 compare 7 and 4 so yes there is need of swapping compare 7 with 8 no need of swapping so let's go to the next pass compare 3 with 1 yes there is need of swapping so 1 and 3 compare 3 with 5 no need of swapping 5 with 6 no need of swapping 6 with 2 yes there is need of swapping and 6 so uh, compare 6 with 4 yes there is need of swapping compare 6 with 7 no need of swapping compare 7 with 8 no need of swapping so here i have to tell you why this algorithm is called bubble salt because of the pattern of comparison look so this is looking like a bubble so it is called as bubble salt so now let's go to the pass 4 compare 1 with 3 no need of swap 3 with 5 no need of swap 5 with 2 yes there is a need of swapping 5 with 4 yes 5 with 6 no need of swapping 6 with 7 no need of swapping 7 with 8 no need of swapping so come to the past fifth one is compared with 3 no need of swapping 3 is compared with 2 yes there is a need of swapping 3 is compared with 4 no need of swapping 4 is compared with 5 no need 5 is 6 no need of swapping 6 with 7 and 7 with 8 so no need of swapping is there so come to the past 6 compare the positions 1 with 2 no need 2 with 3 no need 3 with 4 4 with 5 5 with 6 6 with 7 7 with 8 no need of swapping this means the array is sorted now in increasing order pass 7 and pass 8 will also be executed but there will be no rearrangement in the array because the array is already sorted so now i will tell you what to do if you want to sort the array in decreasing order so there is only one change for swapping you have to swap if a of i is less than a of i plus 1 then the array will be sorted in decreasing order so this is for bubble sort and you can get the full code on my github link github.com slash vivekanand44 hey friends please subscribe to my channel as i post algorithm videos every day and if you want a video on any particular topic then please mention in the comment below thank you